Hello everybody, my name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of LS Payday Fire. And today guys, we're going to be driving a 2015 Dodge Charger and uh, yeah, let's see what we can come across. So I've got some pretty good news for you guys. Uh, recently, I just got my microphone stand, as I told you guys um, in the latest episode of LCPDFR that I would be getting a new microphone stand. Um, but I don't know if I told you guys, but I had to get a separate shock mount uh, with my microphone stand. So basically, I bought a $42 microphone stand. Until then, uh, after a couple hours, I realized that I had to buy a separate shock mount because I have a Blue Yeti. And uh, Blue Yetis are not like other microphones. Um, they're a lot bigger and they're really heavy. So yeah, I had to get a different shock mount. And this shock mount is specifically only for the Blue Yeti. So yeah, it's called the Radius 2 um, shock mount for Blue Yetis or something like that. And then my um, microphone stand is called the Image Broadcast Studio microphone stand. But um, yeah, I mean, I really like the microphone stand. I think it looks really cool. Uh, I think it's one of the best investments I got for my gaming setup, so yeah, I want to see how it works for future episodes. Um, I will tell you this, you won't be able to hear any more bass coming from my keyboard anymore. Like whenever I click on a key or something, you won't be able to hear any, uh, hear any more bass, So, which is pretty cool. That guy's going pretty fast, I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. Oh yeah, um, and this Dodge Charger I found from um, lspdfr.com. And uh, I don't know if I told you guys yet, but LSPDFR um, or just GTA, yeah, GTA 5 mods have been coming out with some uh, pretty good car mods, as well as LSPDFR. Um, and I found this really cool one, which is a Dodge Charger. I almost, whoa, if that train just got me. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pull over this uh, odd-looking vehicle. I don't know what it's called, but we'll find out anytime soon. Um... Yeah, we're just going to be pulling over this vehicle because uh, this person was going fast. So let's um, let's see what's up tonight. Okay, uh, hi there. Uh, yeah, you... Yeah, hello. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, yeah, you were driving pretty fast there. Uh, I'm going to need to see some ID. His headlights look really weird. You guys can tell by the reflections. Oh, damn! Those headlights. Of course, it actually fits with the theme of a classic car. Because that's what most, you know, classic cars look like. They have those kind of headlights. Uh, I think that's how you spell his name. I think I might have spelled it wrong. Nope, I got it. Alright. Uh, 1980 on September 28th. His birthday's almost close, just like mine. Uh, because mine's on the 13th. Um... Okay, and he has everything is good on him. So we'll go ahead and just give him a citation for maybe a hundred dollars. Actually, no, I think he deserves two hundred. He was being pretty reckless. Anyways, so I'm just writing this citation without a pencil or some sort of writing utensil on some sort of notepad. And now that's over with. We can go ahead and get back on patrol. But yeah, I, I like the interior of the Star Charger. I think it looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it, the only downside is that um, your hands are not really on the steering wheel, but I think they'll improve that over time because um, if you guys remember from most GTA 4 cars or just some of them, uh, they used to have some improvements. You know, they would, um, they would be updated from time to time. All right, guys, I am back. I'm sorry about that. I just had to... Uh, restart LSPDFR because for some reason I responded to this call out uh, that consisted some with some sort of broken vehicle, a broken down vehicle. So I had to reload my scripts because for some reason this um, call out wasn't functioning properly. So yeah, my apologies everyone, but we're back. Uh, and yeah, I'm still using this really nice Dodge Charger. To be honest, I think the 2015 Dodge Charger is amazing. Um, that Dodge is created. I think it's one of the best creations. Uh, let me just set the uh, set daytime to 23. And let's make it a little interesting here by adding weather to thunder. Boom. Because I got some really nice, uh, I got some really cool thunderstorm sounds going on here. But, uh, oh my god, sorry about that. That actually scared me too. <laughs> if that scared you, that scared me too. Because I'm looking straight at my monitor. 
But um, yeah, I love this microphone stand. Uh, once again, the shock mount and stuff like that. Uh, just a little background story of what happened and why I wasn't recording for a few days. Well, see, I got my... Uh, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't really have time for that. Anyways, yeah, um, the only reason I haven't been recording for a couple, well, actually, to be honest, a week now, uh, is because I got my microphone stand on Sunday, right? And uh, I, got, I, I started hooking it up on Sunday, you know, I clamped the microphone stand on my desk and tried to get everything hooked up. But in the end, whenever I screwed the hinge too tight for my shock mount, because it was a separate shock mount, uh, a bolt that comes, um, that stays right next to the hinge, uh, came off and I couldn't find it so I had to return it back to Amazon which is where I got it and um, yeah I had to uh, get a new one so I got a new one for free and I hooked it back up again and this time I, I actually um, screwed part of the stand uh, to my shock mount so that way it can stay still because the problem was it, it kept tilting my shock mount kept tilting because my microphone was too heavy so I found a better way to screw it. I used a wrench and everything to screw my um, stand and shock mount together. And now in the end it's working. So I'm not even going to mess with anything else. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And yeah, just before I break anything else. Yeah, it, it was quite a hassle. Like once you get a microphone stand with a shock mount that goes for a Blue Yeti, you're going to have some tough times with it. Because the Blue Yeti microphone is heavy. Which, of course, you will have problems with the shock mount. I just heard emergency 911. Why are you using a bike in the middle of a thunderstorm, sir? You realize you're going to get electrocuted out of nowhere. Should I even pull him over, or is that not even that necessary? Yeah, I don't think it's even that necessary. I like the rain for a really good reason, because rainy patrols are just the best. Let's admit, I, I love rainy patrols. I think they're pretty cool. But yeah, um, let me know in the comment section of what you guys think uh, of how I sound. Am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Just let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to respond to it. Is the game more louder than me? Am I more louder than the game? Just let me know so that way I can get everything good and adjusted properly. It took me a while to uh, um, at least... Ad well, actually, it didn't take me a while. It took me maybe, like I'd say, about a few minutes to adjust the gain on my microphone and then adjust the microphone volume on Windows. So I mean it didn't take that long because I know what I sound like whenever I had my um, microphone on my desk so I just tried to apply the same setting whenever I had my shock mount. Except uh, using you know different um, I guess uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I guess just using a different method. No, I don't want to respond to that. Will you give me like a pursuit? A pursuit in a thunderstorm would be absolutely amazing and would be quite challenging. Because let's admit, rainy, rainy patrols can be challenging sometimes if you have a pursuit. But yeah, I really, I really like, um, I really like this charger though. I also downloaded a Crown Vic, which I may use for my next episode. Uh, they finally come out with Crown Vix, though it does have, um, I think Brian told me one time that there was a bug with the Crown Victoria. I don't know, I'll, I'll see what it's about, but I think there's also another Crown Victoria that got released, so I don't know which kind of Crown Victoria I got, but I think it's one of the good ones out there. It had a high, um, high rating on it, so I thought why not just download it. Oh my goodness, lots of lightning. Yeah, uh, I also apologize for the waypoint on the radar. Uh, as I said, for some reason, this call out that I responded to is just glitching out. It's not even functioning properly, so I might have to get that fixed. I think a new version of these, uh, because I got like some sort of add-on for LS PDFR. It's like some sort of call out add-on. And, uh, ooh, a legal street race, sure. Yeah, I got some sort of add-on that adds more callouts to the game or to the mod itself, and it's kind of glitching out, so I might have to update it if there's any updates on the website. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go respond to this callout of illegal street races. I'm going to go ahead and use this route. Oh, whoops. 
Okay, I'll have to head this way. Of course, I have to go back on the bridge. Thank you very much. I can't even see because it's really... I guess you could say kind of... Damp out. Well, not that it's damp. It's, it's also kind of hard to see with this motion blur that I got going on here. I don't know if you guys can tell by motion blur. But I got some motion blur going on. Alright, we're going to stop the one that we're chasing after. We're going to go ahead and also request for some units. Nope, that's the interaction menu. I don't need that. We have an officer requiring assistance in Cypher Squad. So I called him for four units. We'll Alright, I got a comet. We're in pursuit of a comet. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pit maneuver whenever traffic is clear. Oh my goodness, he is driving like a maniac. This is the range, sir. You're driving hella crazy. Okay, who's behind me? Okay, that guy. Get the other perp. Don't get me. I mean, don't get this guy. Go get the other one. What are you doing? Oh, you're in an unmarked vehicle. An unmarked Crown Vic. You got something that slow to actually... Uh, to join this pursuit. Since I'm so... Since I'm highly concentrated on this pursuit, it's even hard for me to talk. My god, this guy's going hella fast. Comets are crazy, man. But this Dodge Charger should be able to catch up. It's a Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger versus a Comet. I think that's a fair... A fair, uh... I think, I, get, I think we could call this a fair play. Or a fair race here. Oh my god, how did you catch up to me? Well, actually, you had the time to even catch up because we crashed into certain stuff okay and my god I don't even know whenever you're gonna turn because you might turn like maniac okay that was not intended don't know why the hell it, the car is glitching you can't even tell but it's the car let me just go ahead and do a quick repair. I know this... Actually, you know what? Just for realism, just for the act of realism, I'm not even going to do that. But, it's possible that my car, you know, since my car is kind of wrecked, it'll be even more difficult to catch up, and the thunderstorms are just causing more... I don't know, the, the, the thunderstorms are just making this thing, this uh, pursuit rather cinematic now. Oh my god! What's wrong with you, man? That cop must have been drinking alcohol on his way here. What are you doing? Are you doing that? I'm gonna stop and then whenever we get out of the vehicle, I'll go. Technique. Because that's not gonna work. I know you criminals and LS pity. You will be... You will be arrested. For your actions. Well, I mean, you just kind of killed yourself there, not me. Oh, wow, man. Please. Oh, yeah, I also downloaded a 2015 Dodge Charger. Um, as just a normal vehicle, not a police vehicle. Because I wanted to at least have some sort of, you know, normal car in here. So I thought, why not? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's not Dodge Charge. I meant to say Mustang. Wait, did I say Ford Mustang? What's wrong with you? Thank you so much, Ford Mustang. Just stay right there, okay? I am... Well, I don't have the time to fuck you, ma'am. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Huh? Corkers? Uh, I can't even read that. Read that. Read that? I meant to say read that. Authentic something. Didn't even know what it said. For all you know, it could be some sort of ripoff of Adidas or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go, buddy. Get in the car. My god! I mean, the thunderstorms were calm earlier, but... Hear it now? Alright, so I'm just on my way to the other suspect because whenever I called for four units, you know, two local units and two state units, 
I only had one unmarked Stanier show up on scene with me when I was with one suspect who was in a comet. Apparently, the three other units decide to... Oh, wow, okay. Never mind. They are there, but they're just doing jack shit. Okay. Well done. Did it really take you this long to get this guy? Well, is it really taking you this long to get this guy? That's the question. Oh, and you're in a felter. Cool. I I'm proud of you. Oh my god, calm down, guys. You guys hear it, everyone? They're just yelling at him. Jesus Christ. Calm, calm yourself. Well, calm yourselves. He's calling a moron? I'll blow your head off. Is that what you really just said? Okay, you can stand down. Why is everyone calling him a moron? He's not a... He's not a moron at all. You guys are the morons because it took you, I don't know how many damn minutes, but it took you quite a while to get this guy. I had to eventually get him in the end. Maybe because he knew, oh, it's Officer AJ, I'm just going to go ahead and stop. Because we, we know how cool he is. See, even this guy knows I'm cool. He didn't stop for the other cops because he knows that I'm the only cool cop in LSPD. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I don't know why I even added... I don't even know why I said that, first of all. But, yeah, we're just going ahead and take this guy to the station. Alright, so, um, yeah. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be ending the episode here because I have to go get some food. Um, because it's like 8.34 right now, so I have to go eat. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I will talk to you guys in the next episode or one of the next videos I will be making. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you all around. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.